What's up, lore masters? As we continue our analysis of ships in the 25th century, it's quite apparent that the Federation began mass repurposing of older designs in a vain attempt to stem the tide that threatened to fracture the Alpha Quadrant. Among these repurposed designs would be the Starfleet Heavy Cruiser. A breakdown of the Heavy Cruiser itself can be somewhat sketchy, but many believe that the ship was first constructed in the late 23rd or early 24th century. The vessel would be distinct due to its four nacelles versus that of the two nacelles we generally see in other Starfleet designs. The most well-known variant of this ship is of course the Constellation class, which is believed to be active in the late 23rd century. While miniaturization and prefab fabrication has historically allowed captains to use this ship, recent hiccups at the Starfleet Corps of Engineers has made the design inaccessible. Captains would, however, be able to use the Cheyenne variant, which served a distinguished career during the 24th century and was seen at the Battle of Wolf 359. There is also the Dakota class, which is utilized as a day-to-day -day workhorse, generally being seen behind the lines for work similar to that of the Miranda. The other variant that was available for requisition would be the Stargazer class named in honor of the constellation USS Stargazer, even though it looks nothing like it. This design was apparently put into production after the Dominion War to fill the ranks. Regardless of class, the ship has four specialty consoles, including one tactical, two engineering, and one science. The ship would also have a console that allows the use of a warp burst capacitor, being the only vessel to be able to do what is known as the quote-unquote Picard maneuver strategy. It additionally has four slots and extra room for Starfleet engineers and scientists to add experimental technology and weapons. The vessel has the ability to use its subsystems to increase its weaponry, bolster its shields, turn faster, as well as make itself a more attractive target to take heat off another vessel that may or may not be on the brink of being destroyed. It comes standard with three weapons fore and three weapons aft, including phaser beam arrays Mark IV and photon torpedo launchers Mark IV. The vessel would additionally come standard with a shield array, deflector array, impulse engines, and matter antimatter warp core, all Mark IV. And, like others before it, the ship would additionally have its own Admiralty upgrade, allowing admirals to crew the vessel to command a larger fleets. Ultimately, while an older design, it is one I think you want in your attack formation when you're about to go up against almost any threat in the Alpha Quadrant. But these are my opinions. What are yours? Let me know in the comments below.